dear students today we are going to discuss some important plants of ethnobotanical importance so the first plant is trichopus zelenicus which belongs to the family trichopodaceae and this is also called arogya patch and a drug called jivani was extracted from this plant so the plant is called arogya patch and the herbal drug jivani was discovered from trichopus zelenicus by the kaini tribe of kerala now the leaves fruits and seeds of this plant are restorative immune enhancing anti stress and anti fatigue agent the first of all the knowledge of this plant was given by uh, the skani tribe from agastyar hills of kerala who used to consume fruits of this plant and did not get tired so this plant was uh, not known to scientists earlier but after the knowledge given by kani kaini tribe this drug called jivani was uh, made from this plant and now it is available in market the second plant is thomatococcus danielli and from this plant a sweetener was extracted so sweetener thomatin which is a protein low calorie sweetener this was discovered from the aril of this plant and this plant is found in south africa so it is a uh, sweetener thomatin is 2500 times sweeter than sugar it was discovered through ethnobotanical knowledge of indigenous communities of west africa uh, the aril which is 2500 times sweeter than sugar is used in beverage confectionery and pharmaceutical industries and when you see the commercial value or the international value of this thomatin uh, which is a sweetener is of uh, rupees 2 lakh per kg so you can see how expensive it is and so this is also this plant also has come from ethnobotanical knowledge the third plant is artemisia annua which belongs to the family asteraceae and Uh, a drug for malaria was extracted from this plant the drug for curing malaria was discovered from this plant which dramatically inhibits plasmodium growth and two yo from china got nobel prize uh, in medicine for this discovery in medicine uh, in october 2015 the fourth plant is ficus krishna and as you can see uh this is called ficus krishna because it is uh, related to mythology and it is considered that uh, krishna he, he used to hide his butter after stealing from gopis in this in this uh, cup made from the leaves of this plant so if you see uh, the tree leaves have a pocket like fold at the base and the plant is also known as krishna butter cup so this uh, this plant is called ficus krishna because after uh krish bhagwan the next plant is glorosia superba so you see that it has such beautiful flowers uh, and the plant is used uh, to cure arthritis gout rheumatism inflammation and ulcers bleeding piles skin diseases leprosy impotency snake bites etc but this is a highly poisonous plant and is toxic due to the anti mitotic effects of colchicin and glorisin uh, on proliferating cells so if you see this plant this plant this looks so beautiful but besides the medicinal importance it is also very toxic the next plant is rolfia serpentina and rolfia serpentina which is also called sarpagandha it is used for treating mental illness and insomnia in india and the alkaloid rasparin was extracted from this plant so this is this plant has come under threatened category the next plant is panax ginseng which is also called ginseng and uh, the ginseng roots are usually sold in dried form as traditional medicine uh, which is thought to provide various benefits as afro diseac stimulant and anti diabetic agent as well as treatment for Dis, uh, sexual dysfunction in males so this is another medicinal plant of importance the next plant is your strychnus nux formica uh, and you see that 
the strychnine containing seeds have been used in arrow poison so this also po this is this plant is also called arrow poison plant and it is used in uh, baits to kill uh, feral mammals so these are these were these are some of the plants of ethnobotanical importance uh, which we have discussed there are a large number of plants besides this but these are some of the lesser known plants that is why we have discussed this so thank you students